Hey guys, this is what I'm up to today. I'm getting my TX500 all set for digital modes. Uh, follow the instructions. I set the rig control for the Kenwood. I chose the TS400. 0 0.5 on my computer at this moment, 9600 bods. Data bits, 8. Stop bits, 1. Handshake default. That works for me. And as you can see, I am getting a good test for test cat as well. Push to talk. It's running into a dummy load right now. Uh, my battery solution was uh, BioNO. I kept the cord long, so it is a light radio. I don't want to get pulled on the ground in case the battery tips off the table. So this demonstration is gonna be specifically for using this radio with the Digirig. And uh, it calls for two cables, one four pin and one seven pin. So we'll go into the bench and uh, solder those together. And this is for anyone who has no experience with the GX or military type connectors. And uh, quite frankly, if someone knows a better way, please leave a comment down below. By the way, guys, I always forget to ask, please like and subscribe. I went to the Lab 5.9 site and to the Digirig site, and um, they're calling for a tip ring ring sleeve 3.5 millimeter connector. So I ordered these from Amazon, and I should have made sure that I got a shielded cable, but I didn't, so I'm gonna use this one. Whenever I work with these GX type again or military type connectors i find that if i strip the outer covering of the wire back too far i end up having to put something back in its place to cover the wires so in this case i'm just going to open it up on one end far enough down that i can slip shrink wrap on to protect the wires and then pull the original housing that I cut instead of removed to protect the wires. Now a lot of cables will come with coating to let you know that the red one, for instance, goes to the tip and the yellow one goes to the sleeve and the brown one goes to the ring. This cable didn't come with that, so I'm going to use my multimeter and determine which wire is connected to which element of the plug. And I'm going to write it down on the side. I've used these on uh, several applications. As a matter of fact, in my truck, um, I use this as a dedicated point of power for my radios. So now we can plug something else into uh, that jack. Again, you unscrew the plastic bit with the um, connectors from the metal housing, slide it down the cable, and it pull that uh, outer sheath of the cable back so that you can work on the wires. These wires were all pre-tinned. Now this seven pin connector is a little bit more difficult than the four pin. There's a lot packed into a tiny space. So I'm just gonna use my uh, small pliers and bend them carefully back
with the outer connectors bent back just a bit, it, it gives me a little bit more room to work inside there and get um, each wire soldered to the appropriate pin. With my shaking soldering, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. I can get a new soldering iron or a new tip and uh, it won't take long for it to look like this no matter how I try to take care of them. I think it's because I leave it on all the time. So the wires are pre-tinned and I tin the connector and now all I have to do is heat it, have a moment of steadiness, get that soldering out of the way, iron out of the way and it'll, uh, it'll hold. Here's where having that, that uh, sh outer sheathing pulled back comes in handy. Um, you're able to slide the shrink wrap further back down the line away from the heat of the soldering iron and then slide it forward to cover the connector. I always check to make sure if I've got a solder bridge somewhere. In this case, I just want to make sure that that one wire I soldered didn't end up on by accident on two connectors. Once you've done a couple of these or watch someone, I'm hoping that I'm helping someone who was uh, concerned about doing this or watch someone do it, they're actually quite easy. There's the completed package. Give them a little squeeze. And again, um, probably off camera, I did take the multimeter and test each connection with each point on the plug. Now here's where it's helpful to have kept that outer, outer sheathing. Hey guys, that wraps it up. Um, here are the cables that uh, are called for for this specific radio. I did show you the seven pin. I thought that was a little bit more difficult than the four pin, but the uh, same principles apply. And if your uh, radio requires um, a different type, maybe an RJ, I've never worked with those, but um, actually I have. No matter the cable, use your um, multimeter to determine which wire is which um, and connect it in the appropriate way. Again, that wraps it up, guys. If there's anything that I've been able to show you that uh, helps you out, um, that makes me happy. And if you have a comment about how I could have done it easier, what I should have done, please, in the comments, um, let me know. Let's start a discussion. And of course, I always forget to uh, mention it, but like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.